Thousands of civilians, including women and children, lose their lives every now and then in the U.S. assassination drone attacks in Pakistan's tribal regions. But political analysts are now questioning the American policy over the killing of innocent civilians. They say the Americans and their president, Barack Obama, shed tears over the killing of 20 children and six adults in a school in Connecticut while keeping a blind eye on news about the frequent death of Pakistani civilians who are being killed during Washington's drone attacks in the country. The HR bodies, not only in Pakistan and the U.S., they are equally condemning. In, even in the, the civilized world, the children who are being killed, the women who are being killed in drone strikes or even throughout the world in any violent incident, because children are non-combatants in any war, so it is equally condemnable even if uh, it's happened in Pakistan or in the U.S. Many in Pakistan see the shooting in Newtown as part of the American culture, a culture of shooting civilians, including children, which has been waged on people of Pakistan by the U.S. government under the cover of its so-called war on terror. Here in Fata, uh, those number of people are killed every day, including women and children. And uh, I think uh, there is no justification for anyone for this attack. Even no court of justice, they can uh, justify their drone, at their drone attacks. And Pakistan needs to move a UN resolution against the drone attacks. The new American Foundation Institute says Barack Obama authorized over 300 drone strikes in Pakistan during his first four years in office, which is more than six times bigger than the number of strikes authorized during the administration of George W. Bush. The institute holds that since 2004, a total of 337 CIA-led drone attacks in Pakistan have killed an estimated 1,908 to 3,225 people. Washington claims that its drone strikes target militants. However, local figures and reports reveal that civilians, including women and children, are the main victims of these attacks. We believe this incursion through drone attacks does not help eliminating terrorism. People here also get angered over the killing of innocent civilians that generates the feeling of hate and revengefulness. One thing is very clear that our sympathies are with those innocent people who are killed in these attacks. We want these attacks must be stopped permanently. We consider drones as illegal. Despite Pakistani government's repeated calls on Washington to end its assassination drone attacks, the U.S. government continues its strikes on Pakistan's tribal areas. Official figures show that tens of thousands of innocent Pakistanis have lost their lives in bombings and other terror-related incidents since Pakistan joined the so-called U.S.-led war on terror. The 180 million nation has time and again called on their Islamabad to end its cooperation with Washington in the said war. Zahid Hussain, Press TV, Peshawar.